Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a bonus reading for the sign of Aquarius. Um, you guys are in the top views for these this week's um, weekly readings, so I want to do a bonus reading for you guys. Um, please, if you guys like this video or if it resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, I also wanted to tell you guys that I do offer private readings. I have been getting a few requests from people, so I wanted to put that out there. If you want more, if this reading resonates with you and you want a little bit more information about your personal situation, um, feel free to check the description box. There's information down there about how to book a personal reading with me. All right. Let's see what's going on with my Aquarius. The Ace of Cups keeps showing itself to me. So there could be some type of new beginning in love or a new creative beginning here. Let's see here. What's going on? Eight of Cups. All right, so somebody's walking away from something here that's not emotionally fulfilling for them. Walking away to what makes them happy. So somebody's walking away from a commitment here. Or a marriage. Five of Cups, because it's been very disappointing. Um, they're having some regrets. Magician. Someone's manifesting. Oh, hold up. That's a lot of cards. But somebody's manifesting love here. The love card comes out. Somebody's manifesting a love connection. We have two fire signs. So it could be with a fire sign. There's some type of um, communication possibly coming in quickly. Or this is like a very in and out, um, unstable energy that could be coming towards you. Um, passion. Uh, mind, like they're they're acting based off of passion. Six of Pentacles. But um, somebody wants reciprocity here possibly. Um, and then we have the sun on the bottom of the deck. So that's about optimism. Um, that is also about clarity with for me. Um Happiness, illumination, I got drawn to the number 19 that's on the sun, 19 breaks down to, that's a, there's some type of cycle that's about to end here, there's some type of ending and a change happening here, some significant change. Eight of Cups. What's the Eight of Cups, Spirit? Someone's walking away from putting effort and work, money, effort, work into something here. Eight of, I mean, here font, here font. Three of Pentacles. Somebody was trying to work on some type of commitment or marriage, but somebody has decided to end that. They don't want to, they want to end that cycle with that person. Five of Cups. There was, um, somebody said there could have been... Either somebody was somebody feels regret or somebody feels regret over a third party or somebody feels regret that they were too um, they were partying too much maybe drinking too much going out too much what's the magician somebody's manifesting a union though I said that though we have the love card someone's manifesting a union that's why I was seeing the new beginning in love what's the love card ten of pentacles not just love but long term stability and um yeah long term stability a legacy family marriage. Queen of Wands, Ace of Wands. Yeah, somebody is manifesting or taking action towards a new passionate beginning here. Must have, yeah. Someone has decided to abandon um, inconsistency or in and out energy that they were harboring. Like, someone's deciding to settle down. Yeah. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody is wor working on stabilizing, settling down here, getting out of their inconsistency getting out of their player ways possibly six of pentacles what's the six of pentacles they're ready to have something balanced out now because they're tired now they're probably exhausted with the lifestyle that they were living before queen of cups Ooh, somebody i just heard somebody could be having a baby um i don't know that's not gonna be for all of you guys but um someone's um loving themselves more now 
they're investing more into themselves and I feel like they're ready to invest more into you. Is what I'm getting here. Ace of Wands and the Queen of Wands. What's that? Seven of Swords. Yeah, there's some type of new beginning here after some type of deception. There was some type of deception. What's this deception? What's the deception? They were secretly giving to somebody else. There were some type of secrets here. Ace of Swords, yeah, somebody's getting new clarity about love, communication about love and something stable and long term. Five of Swords, but there was some type of conflict in this situation for sure. What's the Three of Cups? Two of Pentacles, yeah, somebody was juggling here. Weighing their options, they had options, but with the Death card, that's over now. Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. The Emperor... Someone's taking their power back from a, an, a fire sign, possibly. We have the sun on the back of the deck, too. So, yeah, there's a lot of ha happiness, positivity, um, positive changes coming towards you guys. What's the sun? Nine of Pentacles. That's, um, that's independent. So, you're going to be able to be, you're going to be, Completely happy being single, if need be, isn't it? Or you're gonna feel like, be feeling self sufficient. The tower. What's the tower? Six of Swords. Moving on from a tower moment. But moving on from something that came crashing down, or a situation that um, was very unstable. And we have the devil. So you're also moving away from toxicity or somebody that was controlling. All right. On guard, yes, I'm saying com competing for someone at an impasse, guard it, needs space, takes time, skilled interaction. Yeah, I feel like you guys are starting to stick up for yourself with somebody. It could be a fire sign here. The world. What's the world? Self indulgence. Focus on, yeah, you're ending something to focus on yourself and building your self worth and heal. Doing some shadow work. Death. Yeah, somebody um was being was pursuing something that was um just like for fun, something that was passion. It was just passion based. This wasn't a love. It was like this was with the third party, but that's coming to an end now. Two of Cups. Oh, hold on. Boat. Receiving what you need, so you're finally gonna get the commitment or the the relationship that you want, and you're gonna get closure about this past situation. What's the five of swords? Love. Sweetheart. Yeah, you have a new love. It, it could be a new love or a past love. Romance, infatuated, wants you back. So that always gives me the idea that it's somebody from your past wanting you back. Um, This is probably going to take you by surprise. They're sorry now. Six of pentacles. Yeah. It's only if you and this person are not talking, it's only a matter of time before this person reaches out to you um, saying that they want to reconnect and they want a second chance. Queen of Pentacles. Messenger of Fire. The cheater story. Yep. Somebody cheated here for sure. Somebody was deceptive. Cheated on now in the past. Trust issues triggered. Heal past hurts and change your future. Yeah. Somebody wants to be more stable now. They're sick of being a player. They're tired of being a player or whatever. The they're. It's like they, I feel like this person got karma and now they're like, all right, I need to settle down. Seven of Pentacles. Talking. Yeah, they want to talk. There's a conversation they want to have to you, with you. They want you guys to be in contact again. Mingle. They want to date. They want to meet you out. Maybe take you on a date. Because you, you guys have been very distant from each other. And they don't know how you're feeling. What's this? Coffin, yeah, something's ending. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. Yeah, and then we have separation on the back of the deck. Yeah, there's somebody separating from something. 
Um, but if you're in a separation with this person, um, they're, they're really sad about it. They're missing you, thinking about you, yearning for you. And they're unsure about the future with you. Um, but I do feel like they're going to be coming towards you to communicate. All right, guys, that's what I have for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.